All right, so in this video, I have a pair of sneakers that I'm very excited to actually see and try out for the first time. This is the Adidas Allbirds collaboration. And if you don't know what that means, that's two brands going in together and creating a pair of sneakers, which is not something that's very heard of in this day and age. However, I think that the reason why they actually join forces together to create a product is kind of cool because they're actually trying to lower the carbon footprint for the creation of sneakers and not just the creation of the shoe for you to be able to get and consume but the entire life cycle of the shoe which is kind of an interesting thing to think about any which way we'll get into that more uh, and i'll show you guys the shoes right here this is a look at the adidas allbirds future craft footprint What is going on guys, Hats here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. If you guys haven't used my website, Collective Kicks, I post a bunch of sneaker deals for you guys whenever I see them available and I just kind of curate that selection for you guys. I actually posted these when they first released as well, but now they are sold out unfortunately. Uh, so I don't think you'll be able to get a pair of these as of right now, but hopefully they'll be making more of them. This is an incredibly lightweight pair of sneakers, first of all. I mean, these things are like 5.5 ounces or something like that. I got a true to size, which honestly fits me a little bit snug but I think that the overall shape of this like running sneaker probably isn't going to be for me just because of the heel section is just very very narrow but I'll tell you guys for those people that are sneaker people that have tried like the Nike Flyknit Racers those are super narrow also and I did wear those quite a bit but these are pretty comfortable on feet now when I heard Adidas and Allbirds were going to actually be working together I thought this was a really perfect match because both of them have environmentally friendly pairs of sneakers on the market you have Adidas with the parlay for the oceans collaborations where they use recycled ocean plastics basically to create the shoes and then you also have Allbirds which uses environmentally friendly materials to create their Allbirds like tree dashers and some of the other stuff they have available. Shout out to Jeff Stable for this one right here he actually sent over this Allbirds sample for the Stable collaboration that he had and uh, I really like this shoe. I have a couple pairs of these ones but these ones were compliments of Jeff. Anyways Adidas has been one of my favorite brands for the last couple years and then Allbirds has been one that I've been keeping an eye on. In fact they just went public with an IPO and I bought like 100 shares of their stock just because I think that that company is going to be doing something in the future. Now when I look at this shoe, I don't think it's the perfect shoe. There's definitely a couple things here and there that I'm not a big fan of. Some of the things I really like what they're doing. But at the end of the day, I look at the big picture of what they're offering. And I'm very impressed that they're able to create something with such a low carbon footprint. Also, it's just a glimpse of what the future could really be offering. And I think that's the most exciting part about uh, this partnership between Allbirds and Adidas. You know, we've seen lots of stuff in the news recently of just hurricanes and snowstorms and all sorts of major weather related incidents across the globe. And I think that obviously global warming could be a huge part of that. So I think the idea of creating a pair of sneakers that has a lower carbon footprint is just really, really smart. It gives us something to look forward to in the future. Now I know it's ironic here because I do have a wall full of sneakers that are not considered for this carbon footprint that we're talking about. But I do think that this type of small change can help other brands create sneakers to lower their carbon footprints as well. So honestly, most of the bigger brands don't consider the carbon footprint. They don't consider the waste that goes into creating the products. And, and maybe like a wave of something like this can help spark it in them where they can lower their uh, carbon footprint in half as well. Anyway, that part of the narrative, I'm very excited uh, to see. Let me go ahead and get in some words from what Adidas says about this product. The Adidas Allbirds Futurecraft footprint, low carbon emission. The numbers don't lie, which is why we put them where you can see them on every pair. 2.94 kg CO2e, the lowest carbon emission performance running shoe we've ever created. No compromise on performance. They balance lower carbon without compromise in function, performance, or style. 63% less emissions and 100% of performance tested by runners. One of their lightest running shoes created with natural, recycled, and lighter materials designed for performance and made to fit the planet. Sure, gravity is a thing, but it doesn't mean you're confined by it. Take off and fly in these Adidas running shoes. Not only are they light in weight, they're also light on impact. Created in the collaboration with Allbirds, they're designed to reduce the carbon footprint from bio-based midsoles to no dye breathable upper. Everything is made with the earth in mind. Together, we can reimagine what an ultra light running shoe can be. Approximately 60% less emissions per pair when compared to previous versions, but 100% of performance. Made with a series of recycled materials, at least 50% recycled content, this product represents just one of our solutions to help end plastic waste. This product is made from cellulosic fibers regenerated from sustainable growth wood, EVA midsole made with 17% plant-based contents derived from sugarcane. Has a synthetic outsole, approximately 60% less emissions per pair when compared to previous versions. 
Upper contained a minimum of 50% recycled. On the side of the shoe, it actually mentioned shoemaking, packaging, transportation, use, and end of life. How does 6.48 fit the planet? Just about everything emits carbon. One pound of tomatoes has a carbon footprint of 4.13 pounds CO2e. A gallon of gas, 26.25 pounds CO2e. And a pair of jeans, 73.63 pounds of CO2e. Being aware of our carbon footprint is the first step towards change. Together, let's see how low we can go. One of the things I noticed about the insole, it says version one, two, three, four, and five, the carbon footprint per pair started at 5.97 kg CO2e per pair, and then it ended up V5 4.38 CO2e per pair. Honestly, it's a little bit confusing to me because on the side it says 2.94 and then on the inside it says 4.38. I'm not a genius with that type of stuff. I wish there was an easier way to spell it out. Uh, but you know, math isn't simple or science isn't simple. I, I don't know, whichever it is. Anyways, you do have a box that is very simple. It says Allbirds and Adidas. I like the co-branding on the box for sure. And I do like the co-branding on the shoes. It's very minimal branding to be honest. So it's not like a huge three stripes or the Allbirds logo written all over the place. It's just kind of a small little spot on the side of the shoe. You do see an Adidas logo on the outsole of the shoe and no Allbirds logo there. And traditionally you usually see three stripes usually on the front of the shoe and there's nothing there uh, signifying that it's an Adidas pair of sneakers. They are incredibly light and I'd say the overall shape kind of reminds me more of an Allbirds shoe. But then you look at the outsole and the traction on the bottom of the shoe and this kind of reminds me of one of the elite Adidas running shoes uh, on the bottom where it has the different little pods of traction here and there. The midsole is also very minimal. This colorway has kind of a marbled color but it looks kind of cool with the upper the way that it's actually put together and it's pretty soft in hand. I would say like Adidas Light Strike is probably softer and the fact that they mentioned sugarcane being used it's definitely something that is more in line with what Allbirds has offered in the past. But the shoe is pretty minimal and they offer like a kind of a two-ply uh, material on the tongue so it's a little bit thicker on the tongue which is probably nice. It gives you a little extra padding there and it is a detached tongue all the way down uh, to the bottom of the shoe. You do have some extra embroidery on the sides of the shoes just to give it some I guess dynamic to the shoes as well as probably make it a little bit more durable but you could see around the toe guard as well as on the side panels and the heel cup. You also do have a little extra reinforcement around the heel of the shoe. I think the price point was like $120 on these so not exactly a cheap shoe but not an expensive one either. I would say it's a very minimal pair of sneakers but obviously with a good reason. As for runners, I mean if you like a low profile shoe with not like a crazy amount of cushioning, I think that it's overall a comfortable shoe. If you're looking for like a max cushion sneaker or mass responsiveness or extra like cloud-like feel, you're not gonna get that from this shoe. However, on feet, it actually felt pretty good. It's not perfect for me. It's too narrow in the heel section of the shoe. And honestly, I probably should've got a size 10 instead of a 9.5. So for me, I would definitely go up a half size personally, but uh, I like the concept of what they're doing and the delivery of what Adidas and Allbirds is creating together. I'm curious if we're gonna see more collaborations like that from them in the future. I'm definitely impressed when brands can come together and create something and I'm be actually really awesome to see Adidas come together with Puma to create something because obviously Adidas and Puma have like family members that created each of those brands so to see them come together would be pretty rad. Anyways leave some comments and let me know what you guys think about the Allbirds Adidas collaboration. Do you guys run in them? Is it actually something that you can see yourself running in or is it something you'd rather see yourself just wearing these casually? I think casually works really well for myself at least. Hopefully we'll see some more collabs from them in the future but thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are interested in buying a pair of these I will link them in the description however I don't know when they're going to be restocking. I'll also link some other alternatives to Adidas as well as Allbirds for you guys in the description. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you have a good rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you back for some more sneaker videos soon. All right, peace guys.